The suspect in a New Year's Eve knife attack on police near Times Square has been charged with attempted murder. Law enforcement sources say the 19-year-old was previously known to authorities and may have been motivated by radical Islamic extremism. Here's ABC's senior investigative reporter, Aaron Katursky. Tonight, this 19-year-old from Maine is charged in the New Year's Eve knife attack on New York City police officers that investigators believe was an act of terrorism. <laughs> Trevor Bickford now facing two counts of attempting to murder police officers and two counts of attempted assault. Unprovoked. A 19-year-old male approached an officer and attempted to strike him over the head with a machete. The male then struck two additional officers in the head. Move, move. The attack happened just outside the perimeter where police were screening New Year's Eve revelers who scattered for safety. There's a ton of police officers running towards the scene. Yeah, there's like, there's like 50 cops, guns out. Sources telling ABC News the suspect told police he shouted Allahu Akbar before the attack. In a diary found at the scene, he wrote about the Taliban. The diary's final entry suggested he expected to die a martyr. Bickford appeared on an FBI radar after his mother reported her son's drift to jihadist ideology. And we've learned tonight the FBI interviewed the suspect, determined he wanted to fight for the cause overseas, so he was flagged for international travel. Nothing to stop him from boarding a train to New York and carrying, an, out, carrying out an attack right here that authorities are increasingly confident was motivated by Islamic extremism. And tonight, Whit, federal prosecutors are considering terror charges. Whit. Aaron Katursky, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.